Season 5, Episode 7. This will be the last episode of 2019. Dun, dun, dun. Enjoy this podcast, but tune in on January 8th, 2020, for the first episode of 2020. And speaking of exciting things happening in 2020... In Odafest 2020, if you so appear, so will Mika Burton. <gasps> Known for Rini on Critical Role, <gasps> as well as cosplayer extraordinaire. Find her on Instagram. And Twitter. What must you do to see her in Odafest 2020? Simple. Buy your Odafest Weekend Pass before 2020. Early bird price of only $50. Wow. Canadian before January 1st. Do not wait for that ball to drop. Open your wallet immediately. What a steal! She'll only be there if you're there. Aww. How nice. Good job, Angelo. Nice yeah, intro. that was pretty great. That yeah. was my first intro. That was the best one yet. Yep. First try. Mm -hmm. First try. No <laughs> second takes. No third takes. Nope. No fifth takes either. Exactly. Two of those were the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Only one of these is the truth. Yeah. Which one is it? So, uh, yeah, Mika Burton will be there. Uh, she is um, just a fantastic person, actually. I've seen her on a few productions across the internet. And we're really excited to have her. Uh, hope everyone is too. And you get a chance to meet her. She'll have panels and Q and A's and all those things uh, at Odafest 2020. So come see us. I can't wait to see what she's gonna do for cosplay when she's at Odafest. I want. Yeah, usually our cos like she's in the cosplay guest category, I believe, for us. Mm -hmm. Even though she does a lot of things, um, but usually uh, our cosplay guests do cosplay a bit themselves. So I wonder what costume we can expect. Well, um, in the past, we've seen a lot of really current, trendy, or thematic ones. So I kind of wonder if she'll reach back and do some classics, or if she'll keep up with, like, you know, what's really modern and trending? Overwatch? Or newest flavor of the week? Or... Uh, well, I mean, if we go to, like, her Instagram... Uh, I believe she's got some ones recently... Uh, for I think there was like a uh, Pokemon one, so she does keep very like um, current. Oh my god, she's there was adorable. There for Bunny. Ariel. Yeah, there was a League of Legends one, and yeah, like I think she stays fairly relevant with her cosplays. But that being said, she has. A it lot could be anything. Yeah, she has a she has a diverse library of what she could. Oh, that's a there's a Zelda one. That's one's really that one's really cool, hey. Mm. So yeah, looking forward to her cosplay. Looking forward to meeting her. Um, I want her to cosplay a scale version of Onyx, like a life size skin. Uh, mm. so first of all, Onyx isn't real. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, Onyx is just a fictional creature in a fictional universe. I'm well, sorry I thought to it was just a pile of rocks. Okay. <laughs> well, then you can I, have we any. Had, we had some like over there. You somewhere. can have. You can have any pile though. of rocks. You can have any pile of rocks of any size. So that. Do they allow piles of rocks at the Tales Convention Center? Um, that's a good question, actually. <laughs> okay, don't be an actual pile of rocks, please. To see more about our cosplay regulations and rules, please visit the website. <laughs> your wow. I don't think a pile of rocks is against weapon policy. <laughs> Depends. Are you a boulder? The it depends boulder. if you're bringing a pile of rocks or you are the pile of rocks. There's, yeah, a yeah, there's a difference. If you're bringing a pile of rocks, then we'd be like, what are you going to use them for? Are you just keeping them in your pocket? Are you going to hurl them at someone? Are you going to put them in a sock and roll Someone's them around? Someone's going to start earthbending real fast. Oh, no. Mm. Pocket sand. <laughs> <laughs> the pocket boulder. sand is definitely against weapons policy. Yes, the boulder is. is conflicted. Yeah. Uh, Actually, Angelo should be doing that voice, not me. The yeah, I, is I just don't think you have the range for that. I'm sorry. I really don't. Yeah. The deepest I can go makes me just sound like a little boy. Having a deep no. voice is really easy. All you have to do is be. A <laughs> you didn't do anything for that deep voice. What do you mean it's really easy? <laughs> like you didn't. It is very easy. All you have to do is be me. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. do that every day. I'm a master of it. Jesus. Okay. What else have you been doing lately, Angelo? 
so, a couple weeks ago... Oh no, I sense a good story coming. Uh-huh. A Go bad on. story. A couple weeks ago, Gaben decided that they were making another Half-Life game. Yes. And so, I was talking to you guys, and I was like, wait a minute. VR is stupid expensive, but what if I take some of the stupid expensive VR that someone else doesn't want anymore? You bought a used set? Disgusting. So, I've, I, when I was looking at it online... First of all, where did you buy it from? Uh, I Here bought it is. used. I bought it used. I just found it on like, Kijiji. Oh, Kijiji. Kijiji. Okay. Got it. Have you fully eBay? sanitized it yet? Hell no. Sanitize it. Face bacterial is gross. So I was looking on eBay back then, a couple weeks ago. Uh huh. I could have gotten one for they were going on Kiji, on eBay for like three hundred bucks so plus like a hundred bucks shipping. Ew. Sure. Uh, wait, wait for used. Used. Okay. Used. New is still about a grand. Exactly. Mm. And that's the crazy thing. For the More HTC Vive. This is a, I'm talking about the HTC Vive specifically. Not the Pro? Not the Pro. Okay. Uh, and I was going to wait until Black Friday was over. Black Friday, HTC had a sale on it for 700 Canadian use. Yes. Or new. 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 It's still available. It's out of stock. Uh, and on Amazon, yeah. they're charging a thousand bucks for it still. Probably. Uh, so I was like, well, I'm not spending that much. That's still too expensive. Uh, I've been keeping an eye on it, and eventually I was like, wait a minute. The Oculus Rift S seems decent. Decent, you say? It's, there's in a, a couple ways that it's not as good as the Vive. It doesn't have as much frame rate. Uh, it has fewer frame. It has, but apparently, oh. higher resolution... You don't have to have, like, the the sensor stations around the room because it uses cameras on the headset. Hmm. But that's both a positive and a negative. So it's easier to set up because of that, but the hand tracking isn't as good. Yeah. But it, brand new, it's only 550 bucks. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I was seriously considering this. And then? Yesterday on a whim. Oh, you literally only got it yesterday? I looked on Kijiji. So the answer is yes. And one guy in Crossfield, Alberta, Don't was know where selling a Vive that he'd only put about 10 hours into. 10 very uh, sticky, still, sweaty I'd hours. still sanitize the crap out of it. Sticky, that. sweaty yeah. hours. Like, there were parts of the package that were still in the packaging. Wow. Did so, he tell you what he used it for? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ask. I see. So how much did you get it for? Uh, all things said and done, 500 bucks. 500 bucks. Mm. Which, I feel like I could have talked them down lower. Yeah. But at the same time, used prices on eBay are about that much right now. You could probably have asked for 400 I might have been able to. Yeah. He might have given you like 50 bucks off. Who knows? Mm-hmm. But. It doesn't hurt to. Well, unless they. able to go there. Unless the ad says, you know, don't offer. Mm-hmm. Like, firm price. No offers, yeah. yeah. I was able to go there. I was able to check it out. Everything was in perfect condition. And the dude had two adorable little corgis. Okay. And, okay. and you were like, throw in a corgi. And now you have a corgi. Congratulations. <laughs> well, no. If the unit didn't work, I was going to go steal the dogs. Uh, but Would you name it Ein? Please name it Ein. Oh, my God. They weren't brown. Aww. Wait, what? What? You can have corgis that aren't brown? Yeah. One was like a... Corgi color. Like the white part was white, <laughs> but the top of them was like a gray with black that spots. Not That's a dash out, first dash-in. of all. That's a, oh, okay. Yeah, that is not. Oh, it's what kind of corgi? There's two types. I don't know. They were corgi See, types. these are both brown. That one's, I guess, one's black. more of a sable. And then that What's a sable? Brown. It was closer sable to this one. Colors. Sorry, well, yeah, we're looking sorry. up pictures of... We're looking at pictures of corgis. Which automatically imagine. makes this the best podcast episode ever. Uh, <laughs> go look up the engagement challenge. Go look up pictures of corgis. And choose your favorite. Send me cute. Corgis. Oh, this one's got like a like a. Yeah, one looks very much Ooh, like that. That's very much. All right, fine. But cute. okay, I I <laughs> did not realize how big corgis were. Oh yeah. Oh, they're not like, really small. They get up to about thirty-five pounds. I think. That's the thing. I thought they were closer to the size to my little pomeranian. They could who's definitely. Who's like a five no. pound puffball? No, they could definitely smother no, me. No, uh, these these boys, they were thick. Big one boys. was actually thirty-five pounds. The other was like almost 30 
Yeah. yeah. They are they're thick boys and But some are smaller. There are smaller breeds of corgis as well. There's very they're, they're absolutely adorable. Ten, ten out of ten. Definitely if you're going to buy uh HTC Vive off of somebody used, buy it off someone with corgis. Mm, I, I could agree with this, yes. But uh, maybe the HTC was his maybe the Vive was for his corgis. Maybe, maybe he he made it so it's like this is what it's like to be tall. I mean, he's well, like uh, farmers in Ukraine are using uh, VR for cows, so maybe you can use it to make corgis happier. I heard about that because they're like they're trying to emulate sort of like free range. <laughs> yeah, isn't that depressing as hell? That's yeah, no, that. that's some matrix shit. That is. That is. That's a literally strange. we're matrixing our cows, that's pretty so we can get better. I think it, they're they're dairy cows, I believe. So we're trying to get better milk quality Jeez. from them. And cheese, yes, by default. But yeah. Interesting. So, so what have you played? Have you actually put it on yet? And, yes. And yeah, what have you played? Play? So, first things first, uh, I have it set up. Not permanently set up. It's kind of in a janky situation, but it works perfectly. I told you. That we talked about this. Room is, yeah. a, is a big, shitty part of Well, it's VR. just because I wa- I'm not sure where in the room I want to mount things. So, one of them... One of the sensors I have, I do have actually screwed into the wall where I think it's going to get useful. And the other one's attached to Dio's uh, camera tripod. Mm. Huh. And so from there, we can move it around if we need to and redefine the play area. But so I've only tried VR chat and Beat Saber so far. Is VR chat? VR chat. Is VR chat the one where everyone gets to be a furry? Yes. Before VR chat, I thought was a complete garbage meme. Now his life is way. complete. Uh, <laughs> if you actually have a VR headset, it completely changes the experience. It is actually legitimately cool. Which furry were you, though? Uh, I was a big titty succubus girl. Cool. Yeah, I everything in Angela is always. I am loving the image of a big titty succubus girl. She, with she your had voice. sheep horns and like fluffy hair nice. and little wings on her back. Nice. Sure. It was really great. Uh huh. It that was sounds, really great. It sounds like a dream come true. This is some weird second life shit. <laughs> yeah. Very it it close basically to you. is. If you're yeah. socially awkward in real life, you're, it's not going to help. You put, yeah, it's the same fucking shit. I put it on and I'm just some big titty succubus thing and I'm like, I'm, I'm just going to stay over here in the corner and not talk. <laughs> I guess. Will you tell me you use that voice when you're her? Yeah. Oh, God, no. I, <laughs> no, he's better than that. that he gets a change. He gets a voice change. It is I. The succubus lady. No, nyan, nyan, he he gets nyan, like one of those really nyan, shitty nyan, voice nyan. voice changes. Jasudili, jasudili, we're gonna get we're gonna get a copyright strike. <laughs> I'm not even joking. That's how I spoke in, in VR chat. Um, I, I'm just getting Doctor Girlfriend vibes here. It was great. Do you like Do you like uh uh Rick and Morty? Mm-hmm. I haven't watched it really. What? Oh, you haven't watched it. Like I know what it is. I like you don't have to. So you don't have to. You don't have to know, uh, have watched Rick and Morty, but the, one of the creators of Rick and Morty uh, helped design a VR game called Trover Saves the Universe. Hmm. I would really recommend that, actually. Hmm. From what I've seen of the gameplay, it looks really interesting. Um, what was the other one? You have Beat Saber, and that's it? Beat Saber. Is that all you have? Yes. Oh. So, uh, so no far, that's all I've really yet? tried. How much was that? Uh, How much was Saber either? It was 34 bucks. And is VR chat free? Free. Or? Okay. free. There's supposedly dlc or down or some downloadable there's succubus something in that game you can pay for but i haven't found it yet Maybe and i don't really i know. yeah i wonder if you could get super hot steel you can okay yeah you should, you should get that i should yes yeah. uh so beat saber the songs that are built in most of them i don't give a damn about the only two built-in songs that I even knew were the KDA Pop Stars. Nice. Song. Don't know what that means. Uh, that's you. the League of Legends song with the really cool uh, Pop Stars outfits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Still don't know what that means, but okay, keep okay. going. And then the other one was Crab Rave. Crab Rave. Crab Rave. I don't. Ay ay ay! Yai. I'm a little crab. <laughs> Do, 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 Red, do, white, do, and do, 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 black do, 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 do. You, you are my colors in the sea. Don't know Crab Rave. <laughs> no, but anyways. Anyways, anyways, you can show it to us later. Uh, the viewers, the listeners, they're like, they don't know Crab Rave. Should we? Even no, I to don't know Crab Rave. Uh, but this morning I downloaded the mod and loaded some custom songs. Yes. Mm-hmm. 
The one downside about custom songs, almost all of them are expert difficulty. Hmm. Like, if you're a noob, uh, get good. So or is, turn on the mod that they, doesn't... So this is kind of like getting into DDR right now, essentially. Basically. If you're not already a yeah. pro, you're never going to be a pro. Sorry if I, I just knocked the nice microphone. You can turn nice. on no fail, so at least you can have fun, even if you can't keep up with the expert songs. Oh, that's good, at least. Yes. Isn't there... There's And you're saying, like, there's no steam workshop related sort of algorithm that they would give you so they would transcribe your custom songs to not be so difficult here's the problem with it i don't think they could do that through steam workshop because custom songs are copyright violation oh yeah that thing yeah custom songs not hard um beat saber i remember back when ddr but was a thing there were certain songs that i got like songs. there was a version of uh the original version of Rasputin. Like Ra Ra oh, Rasputin. Rasputin. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Uh, okay. It only had a hard mode. Yeah. Sure. But it was the most fun thing. Like, the way the, whoever made that uh, map knew exactly what they were doing because the way that you swing your sabers for that specific map right. just makes you fucking dance. Yeah. <laughs> That's and the intent, perfect. isn't it? That is the intent. Did you see the... There's. That's how it's supposed to be played. Is there a default, like, is one of the modes, uh, like, sorry, I saw a gif of a girl playing Beat Saber, but she had, like, a double-bladed lightsaber? Yes, is that small mode. That's a, is that's that, a like, mod. a, that, oh, that's a mod. Okay. I've downloaded it, but I haven't tried it yet. Because that looks pretty cool, too, where, like, instead of always having to go na 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 like, you're sort of beating on drums a little bit. Yeah. I think it's sort of interesting where you're sort of, like, it's sort of like a rowing motion. I can't really describe it any better, exactly. right? I want to try it, but I want to get somewhat good first. Hmm. So but, you're uh, in the process of getting good. I'm in the process of getting good. So between last night and this morning, yeah, I've gone from I can barely do normal to I can sometimes do hard. Ooh. Mm. And uh, by so is this basically just your Christmas gift to yourself? Basically. Hmm. Nice. I wanted to play Half Life. Can you? And uh, is there like a? Oh yeah, there is Google Earth VR. Oh, there is Google Earth VR. Oh, dude. You VR vacation. You can VR. go to Japan now. <laughs> you went to Japan. You joke you about that, but that's actually, that's actually something that can be done. Well, not even that, but I mean, I think the, for me, I would do that just as like a research point before yeah. I go on a vacation. So you sort of have an idea of what things look like mm. and how it feels. Well, not how it really feels in the environment, but like, you know, you could be like, I know where the station is and I know where my hotel is. Yeah, you know that would actually be pretty interesting, and in a in a much better way than any kind of two D depiction of something like that. That'd be super useful. I'm not paying five hundred bucks for it. Useful, oh, but it's you, still useful. Can you navigate through all the train stations in Japan with that though? Because there's like train stations there are immaculately complicated. Like you know, there's different like I guess it depends on how much uh, Google Earth lines. has mapped out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. But it could be a really interesting, like, you know, a VR vacation sort of experience. Yeah. Maybe you should download that and try it out. I want to give that a try. For the holidays. Because now that I have it, what's stopping me, right? Nothing. If Nothing I, I can stop me. I have the VR headset. Me. And honestly, you, do you guys know the Aesop's fables about the fox and the grapes? Uh, the fox couldn't get at the grapes. The fox hated the grapes because he couldn't get them, so all he had was dirty four grapes. And so he was like, oh, grapes are awful. Only only noobs eat grapes. And that's kind of how I feel like right now. <laughs> Straight up, VR is not worth the price of entry. So like the it's brand new price really of entry cool, is what you're saying. But the novelty is keeping you warm at night. So far? Yep. Like, I've had it one night. But here's, a, like... At five hundred dollars, it's worth it. To Where's me. Where, when's Alex coming out? Uh, March. Okay. Here's and here's a question. There might be Valve time on top of that. What's Valve time? Oh yeah, right. Valve, uh, Valve time is Valve. Time. Right. Valve time. Uh, March twenty twenty might be. Yeah, I, for some reason I just like interpret it as a game. You're right. But here's the thing. Do you think you're going to play with your Vive once a week until that time comes? Maybe. Interesting. Hmm. 
right now I'm having a lot of fun with Beat Saber, and it actually is a bit of a cardiovascular exercise for a fat ass like me. Do you have, like, a smartwatch that's keeping track of Good your... Good fucking God, no. Okay. That would so... be another thing we're looking for on Kijiji. Yeah. I don't uh, want smartwatches. No. I hate them. But... I Here's, just mean if you had something really simple like a Fitbit, it would like, keep track of... Whether it's $500 or $1,000, the thing that I kind of have it is like, Beat Saber to me is, I've played it, I think it, like it's definitely fun, but I, I'm like, I can't, I, I don't envision myself sinking 500 hours into that. Like, for That's example, fair. I buy a computer, a computer, my computer is like $2,500. I could probably tell you that I've already hit that $2,500 uh, or sorry, twenty four, twenty five hundred hour sort of mark. Mm. Does that make sense? Dollar an hour. Yeah. Sort of about a dollar an hour. I, I I can justify almost any purchase if I think I use it enough. Okay. Uh, like that's that's just how value sort of works for me a lot. That would also stand if you're like buying a PlayStation and that's like you know four hundred dollars right off the bat. But I think if you buy three or four games, you could definitely get to that point where you've used it at to that four hundred, five hundred. Our mark. Yeah. Hmm, like, fair. Beat Saber, I'm going to sink time into that. I can tell you right away. VR chat, I don't fucking know. Uh, <laughs> it's more of a novelty at this point. But you can be a huge tittied succubus lady. Yeah, why the fuck not? <laughs> the big suck. Uh, of course, Dio is going to be getting use out of it. Oh, yeah. So you can effectively, to get the value out of it, you can divide that time requirement in two. Mm-hmm. Sure. I wonder. Arguably. You can stream your VR, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the... I don't know either, but if you could stream your VR... Requirements will be. Because VR chat, it opens up a uh, window on your computer as well, but it puts that one in like 3x4 aspect ratio. Sure. Or 4x3 mm -hmm. aspect ratio. Mm -hmm. Because that's what you're getting per eye, basically. Mm-hmm. What's the difference, tech, uh, like, spec-wise between the Vive and the Index? I have not looked. Because here's the question. Will, do you think your Vive will have any problems running, Alex? I don't know, because it's just the monitor. It is just the monitor, but I don't know enough about VR to be like... Is there okay. a chance where you're not going to be able to run the game so that you want? there's a couple differences. Based off things like generation, for one thing, like your your Vive is considered to be first, like you know, essentially. I wouldn't worry the about the first display, gen, early so level stuff. Yeah. As I would worry about the controller. Oh, mm. why is that? Because the Valve Index controller has more. My buttons? understanding, it keeps track of finger tracking. Oh. Whereas the Vive doesn't. Hmm. Oof. Uh, the Vive controller still has a lot of uh, input on it. Yes. To where I don't think that will be a problem. I think that the game will still be just as usable. Hmm. But it won't be as immersive. What would you do if it wasn't... For the overall tracking, the Vive doesn't do full body tracking. It just does controllers and headset. No, but I was going to say, what, if you would, what would you do if you couldn't play Alex? I'd go and stab Kaven. Oh. Go... No, no, I wouldn't. I would never advocate for violence. I would only shave his beard. My goodness. What a... What a... <laughs> That's the sort of violence. <laughs> Barbarian. How could um, he take a beard away from a man? I just... How could he take half I'm not saying it's gamer? gonna happen, but I, I, I'm always cognizant of, like, there's always limitations. Yes, um, there is. You know, there's no reason that... For example, Steam has to make that game accessible to you as a Vive user. They don't have to. They really don't. But they've already said that they intend to. Sure. And Six if they want later. VR to be a viable platform, yeah, they need to. I agree. But From they a don't. From developer standpoint. But what do they have? If if Valve comes out and says that, yeah, your thousand dollar VR headset that you bought for your PC. We don't fucking care about it. No one's going to buy the Index. No, well, after that happens, no one would buy the Index. After that happens, no one would buy... Yeah, any but VR. I mean, you could also... But you can argue the other side, which is because the Index is... Yeah? The Index is... Uh, what do you call it? Unique to them. It's proprietary to them, and they're late to the game. Of course they want people to buy the Index. 
Yeah. So it's but don't forget it's a motivator. The I mean, if anything, they could. It was a joint partnership between Steve I understand and that. I'm, I think that it wouldn't be unjustified if they were like, hey, we're releasing it on Index for the first six months. Wait for it later, you plebs who don't have the thing that we want you to buy. And be an exclusivity thing. That would be a huge piss off. Mm-hmm. It would I be a piss off. I don't think they would do but that. But that's why do you why do you not think that? Because Epic keeps on doing it. Mm-hmm. Epic keeps on taking uh, uh, like Steam signing. Steam has a... actually. Yeah. Recently, within the past few weeks, mm-hmm. uh, barred games from the Steam store if they are exclusive for more than a month on a different platform. Mm-hmm. But I don't. I just. Like, that's not good competition. No. Basically, if it is open to all platforms, they'll take it. But if it's exclusive to any one platform, they won't have it on Steam. Rather, Mm -hmm. what they've done is made it more exclusive. Rather, (laughs) they're punishing exclusivity, is what they're doing. By making it more exclusive. Well, it was exclusive to begin with. Yes. But then they've they've guaranteed guaranteed it to be exclusive. exclusive, Mm -hmm. Which... Again, doesn't help the competition argument. No. It doesn't help. There's no... But it's Anyways, well, uh, I hope okay, that you're happy with your VR headset. <laughs> I won't be getting anyone any... You can uh, come over and play it. I'm, I won't be getting one anytime soon. I could come over and play it, but I also know someone in that building that I can see in my <laughs> across my... <laughs> in my living room. Over there. Yes, but your house is further than we that. We have a dog. Uh, they have a cat. We have a dog, though. Yeah, I know. She's <laughs> fluffier than a cat. You don't know their cat. I don't know their cat. Exactly. But, fluffier. but no, like I think, I my my position has always been that it's just not worth it. Yeah, that's fair. But it's worth it for other people, so that's fine. Like, I was just, able to get it one at day. The one day. Point where it made sense to me. I would love, I would love to get VR at some point, and it has nothing to do with the money. It's just I don't find the investment software wise to be there. That's fair. All right. Mm. Christmas stuff hey, coming soon. What are you guys doing you for Christmas have anyway? One week. God, oh, Angelo, God. what I want you to do is spend all of Christmas <laughs> in VR chat. Oh, what? no. <laughs> wow. Okay. Big titty when... succubus lady, but wearing a Christmas hat. Yeah. I would have to drink through a straw, and that's really emasculating. But. Is it? What's yes. wrong with drinking through a straw? Drinking like a beer or something through a straw? It's wrong. Is it? Yeah. Maybe it's better. Maybe it is. Have you ever had it that way? But uh, but no. Uh, <laughs> wow. With, with the HTC Vive, Ooh. it actually, when you put it on, it gives you like a safety warning being like, do not use under the influence of alcohol. Of anything, really. And it's really? like... What kind of damage could you possibly do wearing a VR helmet while you were under the influence? I think because you, probably, because you can't see anything. If you're already tipsy, mm-hmm. if you've had too much of the wobbly pop, <laughs> you're going to be much wobblier. Or some of uh, the devil's lettuce, perhaps. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, I see. Uh, so you got, potential Honestly, if I was high and I used this thing, I think I would throw up. Ooh. I could probably see that. Like, were you worried? I, like, were you worried about being motion sick? I was actually worried if it would affect me or not. Yeah. Uh. I've had no problems so far. Interesting. Mm. I'm always worried about things like motion sickness when it comes to things like VR. Yeah, I was... because it's such a different... I, I was know, actually different. really worried that right. I'd spend all this money and it would work perfectly and it would be me that's the problem. Yeah. Ooh. I'm not the problem. Oh. Sorry, back to Christmas things. You guys all come to the party? Which party? Sure am. Order fest. Every okay. party. When is it? I'm uh... way too busy to do if you would Wait, check don't if... say that. I'm done. <laughs> It oh, yeah, I don't care when you say it, but I mean, it's more like if you ever checked your Odafest calendar, you would know. <laughs> I know when it is. I'm just not going to say it because I'm yeah. going to force Angela to check his damn email. Yeah, I don't care if you say it. But anyways. Oh, okay. There it is. Yeah. I'm working that day. What a what? nerd. Like, I may be able to come after work, but. So I'm going to need ideas for what to get for this Christmas gift exchange thing. But I don't like the price limit. 20 20? It's 15. 15. 15. Ooh, yeah, that's even And harder. you have the opportunity to um, 
like you can you can buy more if you want and that's i don't personally that's not a problem like i'll i'll do 20 15 dollar christmas sweater i just don't but this is the same problem that i was mentioning before if people who are like in our circles of friends don't want anything that costs 15 bucks they would have bought it already. that's the other thing if it's 15 dollars, we're all at a point in our lives where we can buy that yeah and if like the truth is you don't no, like, and and I, I'm not trying to sound like we have a lot of friggin' money because I'm not saying we do. No. Nope. But I will say that you can always not buy something and not participate if your budget is tight, and that's totally fair. No, nope. it's but not. But for annoying. anyone, but for but the the point is, and Nancy said it in the best way, is that if you are participating, our friend circle at the age that we're at and at the point of the careers that we're sort of at, fifteen dollars is sort of a nothing thing like like if you want to buy something it's 15 bucks i can't even buy like a nice mini board game for someone that's it that's that's what that's what i'm getting at like like there's not a lot of content like a uh a mickey of some interesting alcohol for Uh, example but again that's something you can get but again you can can get a mickey the argument is that you can get it yourself you could but if you get something that they wouldn't think to get for themselves then they that's where the value comes from you could get, I don't, uh, mm. you could go like Bed Bath and Beyond and get like a nice little wooden pestle and mortar maybe. Mm. Like I would, I wish that it was about thirty. Yeah, thirty would be fair. About thirty, and then like you could even for twenty. Th- and, and then I would argue, I would argue that thirties maybe like we could implement as more of a cap, mm-hmm. and then like you can range up to thirty sort of. But twenty five is where you want. But fifty, but fifteen just sound like I. I can buy a lunch for fifteen dollars. Maybe you, can you get give like someone a, plush a lunch online. gift card. I just I don't you know. You can get pop figures. No. I'm probably some people. No. What are, no. Here, 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 here's what it's come down to. If I get a, if I, like I'm gonna participate because I like participating and it's like, like I like giving people gifts. Generally speaking, I just think that due to like whatever this specific limitation is, I'm more likely to get a very generic sort of gift like uh, i'm at this point of an odafest we can pass i'm gonna give like chocolate yeah that's yeah that's great actually yeah chocolate is a consumable and it's always good right but i just think that risks being a very generic and unoriginal gift yeah and i don't love that because i think that in our group socially we we value original gifts or like things that you would never have thought to get yourself yeah and you could be like well you could make something i'm like that Get takes someone a cactus, time, and I don't have time. A big, needly cactus, and make it so that the needles are poking out of the, the gift wrap. Huh. Make the gift, like, actively antagonistic towards being gifted. Um. Then no one will want it. <laughs> yeah, and then you'll have to live with the shame of knowing that your gift was the one that no one wanted. Yeah. You'd have to live with a cactus? How horrible. I love cacti. Then buy yourself a cacti. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> We're the the circle. Share here. your love of cacti with the world. Yeah. Uh, something fun that I've done. I did uh, earlier this week that I've never done before. But there was like some kind of social media. I don't know if you want to call it an advert or a call out, but like for the Canadian Armed Forces, mm-hmm. um, sort of just like send a letter or cards or something like that. So a few friends got together and we. Originally, the idea was to write letters, but then we realized that we all suck at writing letters because letters are sort of a per- much more personal thing, and we were just going to write some generic crap and also just not sort of know who we were sending it to. It was kind of weird, right? Mm. So we ended up just making cards, but That's it was nice. a little bit nicer because we were I just like... I love handmade cards. Yeah, well, I mean, but they weren't like really, really nice. They were kind of just like basic level cards with some drawings and, and like, you know... Would they, would they mistake it for like a card from a five-year-old? <laughs> no, because the drawings were better than that, so they would... Assume that a five-year-old was involved, but the parents made it for the five-year-old. Oh, that's oh, the big brain strat. Yeah, that's how you get around that. That's how it looked. So it looked cute, but very uh, uh, not quite sentimental and extremely unpersonal. Huh. <laughs> but uh, we still sent them off, I think, just because, like you know, it's it was sort of something to do. But it was it was sort of nice because even though whether your stance on like I don't know supporting military is like one way or the other. It's not about the military specifically. It's about these people who are um, in a service that is considered an essential service, even Mm -hmm. if you don't think of it that way. Mm -hmm. And they are sacrificing a lot of their time. And yes, it's a choice. 
but they put themselves in situations that are unenviable and most people wouldn't want to be in those situations right yeah, yeah true fact and not everyone has a, a the truth is not everyone has like a giving family all the time right so it might be nice to receive something like that i so, haven't really heard of that before though has that been going on for a while probably has but i mean i think just re- maybe only recently they bothered to advertise for something like that hmm. i mean we could get together next year and try it yeah it'd be okay. fine i'd be down like we only made like a dozen between the few of us and I'm that's not really down. a lot but like it, it only took a like we, we put on some christmas movies in the background and you know hey, just sort of like made a little watching? activity night do you like watching anything specific to christmas or like holiday season when it is the holiday season uh the nightmare, the nightmare before like, christmas nightmare, nightmare before, before christmas, christmas is great really? yeah that's yeah. my that's my that's actually probably my number one holiday movie period mm-hmm. because a it covers halloween and, and christmas, christmas and i just like the songs in it and i like yeah. the, the themes and the animation there's nothing that i specifically don't like about it it's not too cheesy you know or what? corny you know you know what's one christmas movie or movie that happens with christmas that i haven't actually seen yet mm, what die hard I have also oh, never seen that. Oh, we gotta have a Die but, Hard marathon. But if you ask me, I've people, never seen that. Christmas isn't Christmas until McGruber gets thrown off a building or whatever it is. Yeah, all right. Uh, I don't, I don't know what the meme goes. Like, it's, for a lot of people, Die Hard is the Christmas tradition. Yep. Yeah, yeah I. I, can do that. I will also s- probably say that I think I don't like most holiday movies. Anyways, they tend to be really uh, like Jeez. holiday movies, as in Christmas movies, because. Halloween movies are just horror movies, and that's totally okay. Mm. But Christmas movies tend to be really cheesy and overacted yeah, like and poorly written. Any horror movie can be a Halloween movie, but every Christmas movie are, is a Christmas movie. And usually they're fairly, like, they're just, maybe oh, I'm just wow. too much of a cynical old bastard, <laughs> you know? Are but you? I think it's a lot of these are, tend to be, like, just they're too sweet and too over the top, and I just don't. I don't want it. Where are the Christmas movies for people who just want to stay in alone and eat turkey and are there, drink mimosas? Are there Christmas anime movies we could watch? Christmas. Hey, doesn't the uh, Tokyo Godfathers Christmas. take place during Christmas? Never heard of it. I don't know. Christmas anime. Wait, what? Did I get the name wrong then? It is called Tokyo Godfathers. What? Okay. There's a Love Hina Christmas movie. What? And Tenchi the movie too. No. The Daughter of nope. Darkness. Nope. Nope. Apparently that's a Christmas movie. Nope. X nay on the the Tenchi Muyo. Nope. And then there's just a bunch of fan service. No, I have. Awesome! Look at all this anime you fan service of Christmas. It's Tokyo good. Godfathers. I don't know. I've heard of the title sort of. In between all of the psychopath movies that we're gonna watch. But yeah, there's only related searches: kawaii anime Christmas, aesthetic anime Christmas, cute anime Christmas, which will all result in fan. Now that I think about it, a lot Service. of anime just have Christmas episodes out of the middle of nowhere. Mm. Like, it'll be, you'll be watching some anime in July or something, and right. suddenly we'll have a Christmas episode. Mm. And it's just like, what the, what the fuck? Are there any, like, memorable Christmas episodes from anything Good that we watched? Good God, watch? no. I can't remember any of these. Wait a minute. Huh. No. No. <laughs> Wait a minute. I no. thought there was one from Cowboy Bebop, and then I was like, no. no that fat man wasn't a Santa. It was just a fat man. It was just a fat man. A fat, crazy man. Yeah. What is... What do you have a tradition that you like to do during the holidays? Let's uh, by the uh, way, because like let's include like New Year's too, because like yes. it's all part of the there whole is scrunchy one bit long of running holiday. tradition here in Calgary that I'm in Calgary or you? Well, you like that you do this or this year is going to be the first year that I actually get to take part in it okay. because this year is what the first year in a decade that I'm not working that day almost. New Year's Eve, you mean? New Year's. I get or to New have Year's the Day. duck. Ooh, duck. Oh, but that's... Jay's tradition of New Year's duck. Yes. That's, uh... What year is this that I've done this for? Maybe four years now? I think so. I feel like this it. This is the first time I actually I get to like go. I feel like it's been happening for, Good. like, well, much longer. For whatever reason, I keep not being able to go to duck. I think it's... I'm I'm happy to have you uh, guys come. Like I said, I believe I, this is the fourth year it's been going on. I usually do it for sort of like random holidays as well. It's kind of just nice to get together. Good excuse to get together, have good food. Um, but New Year's is kind of like this big special one because we get about, I think about 80 people all told maybe. Like it varies between years, right? Hmm. 
but uh lots lots of folks make it out we have a good time eat a lot of ducks uh. um i think we probably take probably about 30 ducks for the night mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a lot of duck and yeah i'm happy to have you guys overall i uh, can't wait this is actually i got so i'm working new year's day but oh, in no. like the daytime not a big no. deal i don't really care uh i actually got new year's eve off i'm trying to find something to do for new year's eve but i i don't i sort of don't want to just do, do the generic go and do a countdown thing um but i also like the reason why I, like normally i would work new year's eve because i would get like good pay for it and all that but like, I don't know, I think bringing in a new decade is sort of interesting. Yeah. And I, I usually, like I said, I usually work it anyway, so it might be nice to have one that it's like... So here's an interesting you know. fact, now that you've mentioned decades. Yeah. Um, decades, uh, ordinal decades, are defined as from the first to the zeroth year. So the new yeah. decade, ordinal decade, technically doesn't start till 2021. But no one thinks about it that way, but so no it doesn't matter. no one ever thinks about it that way because they call, they usually call decades by like a, a tens number. So like the 60s, the 70s. Right. So in Wait that case, it's always like from the zero to the nine. Are you saying they don't start at the zero? No, they don't. Ordinal decades No, because if you count it, one. because when you count at the zero, you make it 11 years. Yeah. No, because then you well, count no, 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 count on your fingers, count on your fingers. 2000, one. 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009. Yep. Yeah, that's 10, 10 years. That's but that's six. because you count the zero. Yeah. Yeah, you have to count the zero. Yeah, you but if you zero. don't count the zero. Arrays start at zero. Arrays start at zero. Arrays start at zero. Arrays start at but zero. But con in contemporary, Decades like... Decades can also start at zero. In contemporary culture, we don't do it that way. Ordinal years start at one. So yeah. it's one AD, and then it goes to ten, and then the next decade starts at eleven. Right. I blame Jesus for this. Yeah, I'm sorry. You should have died on your zero. I didn't want to bring religion into this, but... <laughs> you I'm should kidding. have died on your zero, goddammit. Anyway, so... He weird, was born. Weird it tidbit. was about when he was born, dummy. Weird tidbit. So, thanks... <laughs> Mr. Lenz, Jesus, you thought my art teacher in junior high for teaching me about ordinal decades because you're the only. Did you think that, that we guys. started it when he was dead? How <laughs> the fuck you know? I don't. The calendar. It doesn't make any sense to start it when he's dead. <laughs> That's already. Well, what sense does it make starting it when he's born? Because any time before he was born would be before Christ. That's literally the point. <laughs> Like, I'm not even religious. <laughs> but after he's dead. <laughs> it's called Anno but, Domini. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. I'm very, like, if he wasn't across the couch, I probably would have punched him. It has nothing to do with, like, being, it has nothing to do with religiousness. It has everything to do why, with, why like, he common, been sense. Born on your common sense. My God. I just punch him. <laughs> let, let today be known as the day I protected Angelo. I, a tiny girl, protected Angelo, a very large man. I owe punch. you my life. <laughs> I'll take that payment in savings immediately. Me and Dio want to have people over, but we've made no solid plan. Okay. Yeah. Like that's... So the intention is there, but no actual execution is solid. Exactly. Gotcha. We need to actually... Like, Guys, planning a party is hard. Yeah. It is not... Like... You have Talk. to do the step that comes after, let's have a party. Which is invite people at a uh, time. Invite people. And then, and then you, you know, have provide to like, food. You have to think about people you want to invite. Uh -huh. And also think about the people you don't want to invite. This sounds like you're planning a wedding instead of a party. I know. I mean, that's what i There's, there's is. really not that big of a deal. Just be like, hey guys, fucking show up. This Bring is why, beers. I'm not going to lie. Food. See... The New Year's duck party is great because I just hold it at a restaurant and all I have to do is wait for people to show up. Yep. And if people don't show up, I don't care because I'm going to have duck. And if people do show up, that's great because I'm just going to have duck. Yep. For me, I'm just self-enabling my desire for duck. Duck is great. But it would be duck great that you guys good. come over. But it's kind of, that's sort of how I think I do things nowadays because like having people over is fine. But almost having going to a restaurant or something is nicer too, because you don't have to do cleanup. Yeah, you don't have to have the uh, setting in like, your home. Sure, you could say like you're paying for something, but I mean. You're paying for the duck anyway. All I'm saying is, I used to go over to friends' houses more. I used to uh, have people at my house more often as well, but I'd rather sort of just go out with friends. 
but not. I think it's also a bit of a separation of of atmosphere too, because you enjoy food when a you're not the one making it, and b you actually have like the atmosphere of being at a restaurant, being at a table, talking with friends. Sure. There's food being brought to you. You don't have to make it. You don't have to. What about the up. atmosphere of creeping on your friend's domicile? I, I can't. Do you guys put up happened. a tree? No. Uh, we used to. We don't anymore. I was never super big on on Christmas decorations and stuff like that. So I want to get lights. We should get lights. Lights. We are do fine. actually have lights up at my house. Lights. We've got some of the bushes out front. We've what, got some icicle lights. What we actually I can't put some get big over. Uh, plastic ornaments on the tree out front. So that's our Christmas tree. What mm-hmm. I can't get over is when people demand to have a real Christmas tree. It's not Christmas unless you have a real tree in your house. I don't know anyone who demands it. I don't. I do have a fa- it. I do have a friend and their family. Who do go out to get a Christmas tree? That's a real Christmas tree, but that's just how they like to do it. I can understand wanting to go out to get a real Christmas tree, as opposed to like buying one from a, you know, from a thingus. Because the experience would be nice. A people's. Uh, the smell of a real tree is nice. Maybe. And that's where it ends. Real trees are messy. They uh, drop real needles. Trees, they yeah, but here's the thing. They, they also have. They have bugs. They have. They, they have. have a but my, my friends have fire pits oh, and they're fireplaces. Flammable. They're very flammable. They have. Fi- they have fireplaces, so it's fine. And uh, like plastic trees, they're not that much different. Like uh, a a real Christmas tree, you count how old it is by the rings in the trunk. I, but here's the thing. Christmas I will say tree, that you count how old it is by the rings of duct tape on the box. Yes. Okay, there can be arguments either way, but if you're gonna get a fake tree, I feel like you should just get one that's also pre decorated. Pre lit. I yeah, love like the they, pre-lit ones. Because, like, you could argue, well, I, can, I can't decorate it differently. I was like, eh, but no. you have the tree up. Are you ever going to have a tree without lights in it? No. Yeah, like, you just well, get, so get the ones with... like people uh, like Christmas trees that only have, like, white snow-like lights in it. Other people want to make their Christmas tree. Yeah, but you can buy, but you can, I think you can buy the different artificial trees with yeah, that different lights. Some people like to flip-flop now and then. Okay, then buy two and, reusable uh, the trees. And the Christmas tree that we had at my dad's house, it was older than I was. How expensive is a real tree? Real trees, like you can. I'm guessing go that's twenty bucks. Anywhere from like twenty up to fifty, Ew. more than that. Okay, you can get the same tree, but make it a plastic one that's reusable for the same price. For a longer period of time. And it comes with LEDs. The fifty dollar plastic Christmas trees are kind of cheap and shitty. They're like Charlie Brown Christmas trees. For a half decent reusable tree, you're looking around two hundred. Okay, these are things I never need. But I honestly, but I, mean, I had two Christmas trees. For the reason reasons. that you would always just duct tape the box closed because they last that long. The tree that my dad had was literally older than I am. Yeah, I had they, a really nice... They got good really on the nice... investment. Sure. They, I don't think it's the same box anymore. I don't okay. think it's the box that came from like 30 or 40 years ago. I'm looking up the price of artificial trees because and... I don't have any of this knowledge normally. Would you want a Christmas like a Christmas tree, Jay? In this place, no. Yeah. No, I want lights. Oh, what's this? What's this? So that one does look like crap. Yeah. I uh, alpine like alpine balsam fir. Yeah, it does look a like little it silly. looks. But the ones beside it look nice. Uh, I just don't oh, see a price. How much are they? I don't know. This is, well, it's because they have different uh, heights. Oh my. Yeah. So let's go for this one. This one has lights in it, for example, and I. I think we could all agree that it looks four ninety nine for a five foot five. Yep, that's that, a pretty normal. Size it looks tree. fairly nice. It does. I it will say it looks amazing. It doesn't even need decorations on it. No. Well, you have to put like a star or an angel on top. You got no. You don't. No. If you're if you're not, not religious, you don't have to put an angel, anything. But yo. Well, you don't have to put an angel, but a star or something. Yeah, no. Yeah, you need some kind of tree topper. But why? Because. It's, it's, well, who well, gets when a you Christmas put a... tree that doesn't decorate it? Uh, lots of people. It's called growing a garden full of trees. <laughs> that's, that's not a Christmas tree. That's just a tree. You Broadway fiber it. optics tree. Let's wow. see how much this costs. Oh boy, does the whole thing light up? Please tell me the Four, whole thing. dollars for a sixty-four a nine, in. No, no, for a nine-foot nine foot tree. tree. For a six-foot-five tree, tree, that's, that's eight hundred dollars. No. A lot of people. Anyways, uh, I don't need an expensive tree to tell me that no. I have Christmas spirit. Thank I you. just. To me, a Christmas oh. tree, I like them. Visually, they're great, yeah. but they're cluttered. Um, I the just box is just taking yeah, and up then your you're closet just... space all year. Yep. And when it's not taking up closet space, it's taking right. up a fuck ton of floor space. Christmas tree. Yes. Um, I will say the one thing that I want for Christmas, sort of, but not like I would rather nothing that I can't get for myself. I kind of pack this and I put lights on it. I, I want to get an I want to get an ugly Christmas sweater for myself. Oh. Because I've never had one, and what would you get, I wonder? so like eight years ago, 
eight years ago. At like a Blue Notes, I saw like a nice sort of like gamer related one where it was like sort of retro gamery, but not too like shitty. Mm -hmm. I've never been able to find it since, but I didn't buy it then. And I'm kind of upset about that. Some of the gamer and nerd chic Christmas sweaters are kind Garbage. of amazing. Yeah, like thinky. They're kind of amazing. Like there's the the Picard one that says "Make it snow." <laughs> no, but I don't want I don't want something like that. I want something that's sort of classic and sort of low key, but still nerdy. But then it's not an ugly Christmas sweater. Low no, key. they're all sort of ugly. <laughs> low, that's low the key thing. Is the antithesis of ugly Christmas sweater. Yeah. A little no, bit. it's just not glaringly ugly, as opposed to just regular ugly like me. <laughs> I just wanted to suit me. I'm sort of just a regular ugly. <laughs> Jay, you're beautiful on the inside. You don't know that. <laughs> he is not. No. You, are, you don't know me. I probably have higher cholesterol levels. <laughs> Than me? No, in general. Huh. So therefore, bad insides. Huh. Anyways, I don't think there's anything else they to talk about. They just learned how expensive Christmas trees are. We sure did. Hmm. How much can you rent a tree for? You can rent what? trees? Yeah, you, that's how that's I'm... how businesses do it. What? Every 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 business that like foyer that you've ever walked into oh, during like, the Christmas, like the malls, malls or like hotels or any business yeah. lobby, those you think they keep them in storage? You know, no, I've always just... wondered. I've always wondered where Chinook got their giant polar bears from, because the they're North huge. Pole. Well, they're they're huge. The holy statues. ones. Where else do you get? Yeah, the holy polar ones. Bears. But it's oh. like, where do they store them? Do they store them? Do they rent them? Does, does someone just like they just train real polar bears to stand still? A new one every year? Like, what's happening there? I think they're gorgeous. Anyway, thank you for listening. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone else cares about how much a rental tree costs, but I will finish the episode with that, not to keep anyone in suspense. You have one week to get your wrapping paper, to get your mimosa ingredients. To get the festive spirit within your body. It's two hundred dollars. Okay. Oh goodness. <laughs> but goodness. you probably you get to, one? to Yeah, but one. I think you rent it for like, you know, a couple of weeks or, or Wait, a few weeks. Does that weeks. come yeah, with someone to put buy it up? One. Does that just come with like a person to put it up and decorate it for you? Or I don't, like... No no no, but like it's usually an artificial tree anyways. Yeah, I know, but someone's gotta put no, it no, up. No no but and like you also it. no no, but you get it like My usually at the beginning of the month. To, to the end. So mm-hmm. that's usually how they do it. Anyways, Thank you for listening. Thanks, I hope guys. you all have good holidays. Uh, buy your Odafest ticket if you haven't already, whether you want to buy it as a gift or for yourself, because you'll save $10 either way. Uh, <laughs> that's your Christmas gift to yourself, saving $10. Happy holidays, guys. Merry Kwanzmas, Festivus Maximus. Happy Festivus. For the Maximus. <laughs> Roll up. <laughs>